Alright guys, this is something I've been thinking about today and it's um, the 30 year old wall. Um, this is what women hit. I have not met any guys that hit this. Um, predominantly, we don't have to worry about body clocks, let's put it, let's put it bluntly. So for us, uh, if we meet somebody in their 50, you know, when we're 50, it doesn't really bother us. You know, we don't have kids in our 50s, so what? But a lot of women want to settle down and if, if they're career driven and um, going for parties, you know, uh, I mean, a lot of the women I know from my younger days were not marriage material, they're not women I would actually settle down with. I mean, a lot of the women I've met in the last probably five, six years from older times, like when I was at high school and stuff, um, you know, through Facebook and stuff, they've gone through a lot of the headaches, so they're, they're now a lot more uh, friendly. You know, at the end of the day, I'm not saying that there was an issue between us, it's just that myself, I wasn't really interested in um, relationships myself. But the thing is, when you talk now, they'll say, oh yeah, I used to fancy you at school and all this sort of stuff. Um, <coughs> because they've gone through a transition period um, where they've had the partying times and things like that. And obviously I'm unavailable and it's like what they're saying where all the best men are taken, which is quite common. Um, a lot of this is down to the fact that when w women are in their, say, 19 to 230s, they have a set thing. What I remember when I was 17, 17 or 18 years old, um, we were at a party and, and all the women there were going off to university. They'd all dumped their boyfriends. This is real, by the way, I'm <laughs> making this up. Um, and basically they wanted to sleep with guys before they went off to university and everything else and we were happy to, not like some sort of orgy thing, I'm talking about like uh, on a one-to-one -one basis. But the point being is a lot of those women were simply just wanting to experience things. And they were, they'd already recognized we're, we're, we're doing this thing, we're going to do this, we're going to dump all the boyfriends, we're going to do this because we're going to go to university, we're going to have the time of our life at university, we, 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 which is sort of like me, 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 or obviously a multiplier. Um, so it was a good time, I'll be honest with you, it was a very, very good time for me, and as a male, it's, I don't mind that sort of scenario. You know, then the day, I was just partying, I was at that age where you drink, party, women, so fit it in fine for me. But you bump into the same women now, <laughs> uh, and I do remember, the, um, I'm not going to say the names, but they, I bumped into them at the, in a bar years later, um, and their face of horror, because they remember um, what you know from when, from those times. See, guys are right to do it, and this is why sometimes women will go, oh, sorry for you guys. but. Um, I had enjoyed the company of her and her sisters at different times. Um, they, were, they were twin sisters. But the point being is they, they left immediately as soon as they, they remembered, you know, when I walked in, it was like one of those horror moments of, oh no. <laughs> Not that I was bothered at all. I just found it very amusing. But the point being is, that early on thing, where they transisted into going away to university and I'm going to do this, I'm going to enjoy life, I'm going to have this. They had actually got married, so they were fine, you know, they had settled down in their own way. Um, which is why I keep that to myself. Um, but the, the point being is, the, uh, many women don't. Many women go through that motion want their independence, then they get through the university after partners and whatever, then move on to the next, which is a career move. Get on to a career move and still partying, want the independent. I want to go out Friday night, meet a guy. I want to go out Saturday, meet a guy. There is no commitment there. And I'm not saying all women are like this, by the way. Not all women are like this. But this certain grouping that often hits that 30-year-old uh, wall is that type of grouping. Um, where they haven't got into a relationship because they've gone into this sort of party mode and career mode and me, me, me mode to the point where the guys they're meeting are of a similar type. You meet the same women every night at a nightclub. If you're going out there Friday night, Saturday night, Sunday night, you're going to score with them at some point. And the point is, 
you're not there to get married. They ain't there to get married. You're there to party. And when they hit that 30 something, they're often still going to the same places. I mean, I moved out of that stuff probably when I was about 20, 24. You know, I'd gone past that stage at 24. I'd, I'd grown out of it. You know, um, but a lot of these guys don't. And, well, sorry, guys and girls, because the, the guys will continue going there as long as it's, uh, they're being accepted at the same time, the girls will carry on, but you find as the time goes on, there's less and less of them, unless they start bringing new people into the group, so in the sense that women start going hanging out with their work colleagues and their younger work colleagues over time, because obviously a lot of women get married off, same with guys, they stop doing it but you still end up with the, the hardcore ones that are not interested in settling down. Which are the ones that are available? Because when you go along to these clubs and whatever, they are there for one reason, and it's not to go, I do, it's for I doing something else. Um, so the environments are often wrong if these women are looking to settle down. But often the bar is set extremely high. And the reason this gets set high is firstly, they still think they're as attractive and everything else as they were a decade ago because their mindset is the guy's this, the guy's this, the guy's this. But also the bar of the guy is set based on people you meet in a club, which are not real environments. You know, you know they're not um, long-term environment scenarios. They're, they're not based on somebody's financial ability, they're not based on their um, depth of knowledge. Um, having similar traits, similar interests, all this sort of stuff, it's simply sexual. It's it's a physical attraction. It's a, it's a party time environment. And as such, you set the bar at this with zero information on the guys that they've been, you know, that they've been with for a long period of time, yet suddenly expecting the guy that they want to marry to be at this level when they have no idea what those guys were actually about in the first place because they had no depth of information about them anyway because they didn't need it because they weren't there for that but then you start getting into the fact that women try to get somebody that's at a higher grouping in the sense that more successful financially or whatever it's just natural um, within that, that circle they, they look for people that are more successful which makes it even harder but at the same time still unable to look in the mirror and say I'm 10 years older than I was, maybe I should look at guys that are actually around my own age or maybe even a little bit older because a lot of the guys that are eligible have the best uh, marriage ability etc are already taken. They were taken a while ago. This is why they're still, you know, the, the best ones have already gone. What you're left with is the guys that want to play and often ex-divorcees and other things that are can be an issue but at the same time the bar is still set here because they're expecting that some knight in shining armor is going to come through the door and make everything wonderful and it is a bit strange I do find it strange at the same time this will link in with the Philippines for those that are interested in the Philippines that it happens on the 25 somethings in the Philippines for different reasons it's not a case of um, being wanting to party, all this independent stuff. It's about the fact that up to the, about the age of 25, they've been focused on uh, providing for their family, not just their own kids or whatever, in the sense that they haven't got any, but they've been providing for their family, you know, like their parents. They've been supporting their siblings through school. They've been helping the family unit. When they hit 25, it starts to become me time in the sense that they're starting to look for somebody to settle down with. And what I find good about that instance is it's not about partying. It's not about the fact that they're starting to see their friends or like falling by the wayside by meeting somebody else. It's because they've had commitments up until their age of 25 that, and still ongoing. But at the same time, they're looking to settle down for the long term. So for me, that's why one of the reasons I do like the Philippines in that sense, if you're looking for relationships, because if you meet the right person, and I'm not saying every person is going to meet the right person because that's, that's just stupid, but the, the majority of women I know, and I will say that a lot of guys do not go with women from the same social class, um, but the majority of the women I know um, are marriage material. They are. 
the, their commitments there, a lot of the problems are the guys. And a lot of guys don't want to admit it, they, you know, but it often comes down to the guys. The women themselves, they're committed, they want in 100%, they're, they'll, they'll, um, they'll follow through on their side of the bargain. But at the same time, a lot of the guys don't. Um, that's another story for another day, but I just wanted to cover that thing where the 30 something wall because guys don't have it. Because guys, it is normally around the children thing and the family settling down. Well, guys generally don't. If a guy was single at 30, he's not going to be bothered. Um, in fact, I would say as you hit 30, 45, you've probably got more options, not less. Because you've got a lot of these women looking for guys that are single, um, but on top of that, you're you're also going to be more financially independent, especially if you've not had any of the relation headaches, relationship headaches, and you managed to come through all that and just enjoying your life, um, which also makes you harder to pin down because you're independent. But ultimately, there's nothing wrong with that. Um, but you would be much harder to become married because you're already into, into the flow of being signal. You are a MGTOW, a true MGTOW in the sense that you're content with life. You found your way in life and maybe you have the odd relationship here or there, but you're not fussed if you do or don't because you have your own stuff going on. You go to the gym on Wednesday, you got your football practice on Thursday, out with the guys on the Friday, you're chilled. It doesn't always involve a relationship in the same way, and that's what's very manipulated in TV these days. Because a lot of the stuff, I believe, must have a lot of female writers that are writing male roles, which then distorts how a lot of men actually think, or they assume men think. When in reality, most of the guys I know couldn't care less if they weren't in a relationship or not, because they're more concerned about what's going on in football on the, like the World Cup. They'd be more concerned about that than going out with a woman on a Friday night. Um, and it's not because there's, um, yeah, it's not like they're portrayed as like football hooligans or they're low IQ or something. It's quite simply, they're content. Simple as that. They don't need it. They don't need the hassles. They're not seeking or desiring anything. They're just content. Thanks for watching.